Hey guys, I'm Max, and this is Max Up Gear Up. Today, we are going to be doing the top five worst American cars that need to be added into Forza. We're talking uh, Pontiac Sum. Okay, now I'm just ruining it. So, yeah, so car companies have had many, many, many fail failures in America. Just like Pontiac. Which, Pontiac isn't easy to get licensing for in a, in a, a game that is set in Britain. Which... There will also be a new championship with Max D and other vehicles. That will be whenever I get 110 subscribers. So if you want me to go back into Monster Trucks, then if I get 110 subscribers, then you'll see Tommins battle it out. And many other stops, but the here we go. Number five, the Cadillac ELR slash several well and Chevrolet Volt. They both kind of are the same core, but Cadillac with that huge ELR failure, like forty eight grand for a Volt, not bad. But $75,000 for another Chevrolet, a Chevrolet Volt type of vehicle. Ah, oh, that just is way too crazy. We do need more Cadillac cars in the game because we got the Escalade, ATSV, CTSV, Eldorado Barrett's convertible. If we can at least get the ELR along with CT4V and CT5V Blackwing, that would also be cool. So that is number five. Number four. It is the... The Ford Mustang Mach 1 from 2021. Oh, that many people are going to be like, Oh, it's a great car. The reviews on it are terrible. You should never spend like, what is it, 85 grand on it? Maybe more like 87? It is a expensive one like GT500 expensive. So, it would just be cool cruising in an unreliable Mustang. That is way more unreliable than the Mustang Boss. Also, the Mustang Boss 302 from 2012 would also be cool to see. Number 3. Hummer H1 Pickup. The normal Hummer H1 and the H2 and the H3 and the H3 6x6 and the Hummer EV. Those pretty much are expensive and terrible cars. So, so those would be pretty cool to have in the game. Because we already have the H1 Alpha and the H1 Open Top. So that would be really cool to just go in cruising in Hummers. Number two. This isn't going to be controversial, but it is a car that everybody hates. The Aztec. Which, there aren't that many SUVs. I think our latest SUV was the Jaguar I-Pace. So, that would be pretty cool. Maybe it was a Cherokee. 
but that would be cool. Maybe you could make it go up against number one on this list, which there is going to be no honorable mention on this. I forgot to mention that. You should also subscribe if you are newer to here and destroy that like button. Number one, which before we get into number one, the Hot Wheels update for update 32 is announced. But here's another question. Maybe you guys can answer what is going to be the other cars in update 32? So that picture does review not. Not one, not two, not three, but six cars. So, yeah, but now, number one. This is the dumbest car of the 80s, I have to say. It's probably dumber than an Aztec. It is the Pontiac Fiero. Which, to me, it looks like the Fiero actually might have inspired the Aztec. But the Fiero was pretty cool with it being mid-engine. Probably MR2 based, that is what I have to say. It probably is a worser MR2 from the 80s. But nonetheless, that is all. Like and subscribe. And be sure to... Always be looking and for more videos. The next video, if we get 100 subscribers, will be a Neighborhood of Robloxia video. But nonetheless, that's it. If you're newer, or destroy the like button and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next video.